First, I want you to understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who is in charge of our qadr. Fate, al-qada wa al-qadr, is one of the articles of iman. And although we're here talking about marriage and love and happiness, always our discussion has to be about our i'tiqad, what we believe and why we believe it, who we believe in and what he's asked of us subhanahu wa ta'ala. And of the articles of faith, not one that is less than those that precedes it, al-imanu bil qadari khayrihi wa sharri. That we believe in that which is fated for us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's bitter and sweet. It's happy and sorrow. It's difficult and it's ease. And we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in charge of our life. But I wish to speak about qadr in a meaningful way. There's two types of qadr. The first qadr is one that you have no choice in. It is destined for you, determined for you. It is with the knowledge of Allah, with the mashia of Allah, the will of Allah, with the khalq of Allah, and with the ilm of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It has those four levels of the qadr of Allah azza wa jal. And those are the things that Allah has determined that you are not fit, I am not fit to make decisions in. When I'm born, to what kind of family will I be born? In which society and which era I will be born in? Who my parents will be? Whether I will grow up happy in an affluent home or in a difficult, economically impoverished home. Decisions that are not left for you and I. Genetic propensities. Things that I am born with that are a part of my genetic makeup that I have no ability to change and configure. It is determined and set by the knowledge, the will, the creation, and the ability of Allah Azza wa Jal. But there's another qadr. And that qadr is given to my hand and your hand based on the qadr that you have no choice in. And that level of qadr is the qadr that you and I can influence, that your mother can influence. The dua of the Prophet ﷺ, he teaches us that when you make dua for yourself, the basis of it is asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to alter our qadr. The reason you're ill and you say, Allahumma inni as'aluk, oh Allah, I ask you for healing, is that, oh Allah, the qadr you have sent. And this moment of my illness, I ask you, oh Allah, to change it. The dua of your mother for you changes your qadr in terms of the days you live. The Prophet ﷺ said, the one who wants to live longer and have more prosperity in their life, let them earn the dua of their mother. In another hadith, let them be good to their kinfolk, your aunt, your uncle, your brothers, your sisters, those who are tied to the rahim, those who are tied through the bindings of the womb. 